welcome back to my channel. It's far too long for me ago that I sit here and record anything, but I'm going to tell you why. But it's finally time. It's finally time that I am going to start a new project. And this time I am going to use the Time to Dream collection from Scrap Meer. And um, what you see in front of me, there are two packs of the 20 by 20 centimeters or the 8 by 8 inch paper pads. And so yeah, it's time, it's, it's time to dream. It is, it is time to dream. And I have this quite a long time in my stash. And for me, it was finally time to do anything with it because... I'm going to tell you all about it. But anyway, this is what, I got, what I'm going to use. So I already searched some nice flowers with it. I also made a nice um, ribbon set. I also had loads of nice embellishments and beads and ribbons and charms and flowers. Everything. I do have a nice um, template to make a nice um, pocket shape. I do have this and this and I do have so many things. I even have some principles. So yes, fun time. And in the meantime, I'm going to tell you all about what happened the last three weeks. Okay. okay. First of all, I like to give you a full walkthrough about the paper line Time to Dream from Scrap Meer and it's from Ukraine. Um, okay, so the papers are 190 grams and acid and linen free and of course it's made in Ukraine. It's 20 by 20 centimeters or 8 by 8 inch. Each pack has 10 pages, so I have two. So I am going to show you all 20 sheets. So everything you want to see, these are 20 sheets. Oops. <laughs> Alright, so in each pack there is a, how you call this sheet, uh, a tag sheet, label sheet, well everything is on it. Oh gosh, I love it. Love these little bottles and all the nice images in it. Oh my gosh, I love it. Can't wait to cut these all out. I hope you can see this in closer look. I'm not gonna see not gonna show you the back side because I already have them in one <laughs> in one show. One show below. <laughs> Alright, then we have this nice tea table. Oh, Alice is mourning. She is mourning. Um, yep, yeah, we have some trees on the back. We have that nice big landscape on the back. Here there is some little very shady look of a clock. Then we have again Alice and here are nice nice ornaments. Here we have all the cards. Oh my gosh I love those images. And very close in the back you will see some um, leather from a book pieces. Then we have here Alice on a wet piece of paper opening a door with some keys on the back. Then we have a very dark, uh, wet, with black shades on the back. I don't know if you can see this. Let me give it a close look. See that? So nice. So nice. Oh, I don't want to see the back. <laughs> then we have Alice again with a nice castle on the back. And here we have the cat. I love those cats. I love the cat. I don't know why, but I love the cat. I'm not a cat lover, but I love this cat. <laughs> With some nice blue, yeah, turquoise, light blue kind of a shape. Love this shape. And I'm going to tell you more about this. Is it a diamond shape? I think it's a diamond shape. Um, then we have this one with some nice brown faded color on the back. Love those roses. Oh my gosh, I love the vintage color. So, so nice. It's, it's like... There is, and you can see it on camera too, it's like a little shade on it. I don't know. See that? It's not bright. It's not bright at all. This kit, this, these papers are so 
gray looking I don't know it's not bright I love that I do it's really a vintage color everything love this one with the clocks amazing then we have the flowers again but then in neutral colors then we have this nice black one with all the bottles drink me and other pots and bottles on it great oh this is nice oh wow you can cut these all out you even can cut out the little images if you like so cool then we have this piece of all the keys that's in it very fancy keys if i may say so very nice then i think yep that's the back of this one ha, so that's nice so if you cut all of these cards then you have the back also so you can make a little card set that's cool but you also can use this just as it is then we have this nice gray one but it's not a plain gray one let me zoom in for you guys see there is a nice ornament on the back nice gray then we have this yeah, i have no idea which color it is it's not black it's not gray it's not purple it's not brown i have no idea but gosh it's fady and i love it and there is some little red heart on it do you see that so cool then we have these chess things i know it's from the chess play but i have no idea how all these pieces um called but you know the rules then we have the flowers again but now we have the gray tints love it love it love it love it then finally we have this rabbit i love the rabbit and please forgive me if they have any names i have watched many times alice in wonderland uh, the movie but i have no idea if the special characters have special names for it i totally forgot about them so but that's not necessary i just call it the rabbit <laughs> and then we have a nice gray one with some shady flowers on the sides okay so now you have seen all the 20 sheets that comes along so yeah of course the bags are a and b sides see how nice all these colors are they are so vintage i love it i love it love it love it but it was hard to find some colors that match with it because yeah 20 sheets of 8 by 8 you can do a lot with that you can i i proved that many times in the past so um but yeah you know me lately lately i want to add something in it and i do love this this one so what i did was i asked my girl if she wanted to make um a printable set and it's not a big one it's not it's not 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 um so what she what i asked her to do wait i'm just gonna okay grab. so i asked her if she want to make two two printables for the backgrounds and i love the diamond shape so uh, she made for me the diamond shape and i love stripes but this time i made it larger okay so um yeah she made a larger stripe um so these two i'm gonna use but I think so she only made it in black so if I printed these out on white paper you will get these but I was playing along with it and how about using some brown papers then you get these oh that's nice that's much nicer competing with these papers than the white do you think then I was searching on a wet one because the wet is pretty vintage so a normal wet one comes like this but that don't match that don't match at all so but i was just playing around then i had some really 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 darker wet than this one and then but this is linen this is linen paper not just print paper this is linen and then it comes like like this oh that comes close that's very nice but the black is not that black as it should be because it's linen 
I also had some grey in, in, in my stash, so this is grey, light grey paper, and that also was nicer, very much nicer than the white one. So that comes close. But it still was not exactly what I was looking for. I also had it printed on some cream color. I also have, I also played with it a little bit. But I also printed on, on some cream color. See the difference between these two? That's also much better than on white. But yeah, it was still not my satisfaction and i could have yes you know i could have let my girl print uh, made the background with the exactly same color but i wanted to do something that's easy easy to use for everyone so only printing it out in black and search any color you like you can use that set on any occasion any color you like for the background so that was the main goal that I only made these two sheets only in black only in black to print it out so you can use any color cardstock you like as you can see it's totally different when you printed it out you printed it mm. out okay so but I searched for other colors because the red I don't like the gray I wanted to be darker so I had to search for another color cardstock and it should be arriving a few days ago but it's delaying I don't know why but it's not arriving at my desk right now so I have to wait for that but I still can start because the brown I definitely gonna use so I'm gonna start with my project, but that was the little thing that I just like to share with you. Blah 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 blah. blah. <laughs> so yes, I have two sheets of printables. Um, yeah, that I'm gonna use. Okay, so let's get started. That was the large story that I want to show you. Yay! Okay, let's get started. Um. Yes, where do I want to start? Um, let's get started. Okay, what I'm gonna do, I am gonna use paperbacks this time. It's been a long time that I used paperbacks. And I did use these, oh my god, it's the last time that was for a design team project for Country Craft Creation. So that's been a long time. I even don't know what album that was, but that was that white one with the white colors. Um, something with family. Can't remember. But any day, anyway, um, I'm gonna do a bit the same. At least I'm gonna do the same thing that I did there with these paper bags. I love the way that I did that, and I'm gonna do that again. Yes. Sometimes it's nice to do something again, but then in another in another shape of album and but I'm definitely gonna use the same thing on these. And uh, you all also saw me uh, show you this. Um, so this is the way that I am talking about to do the same way. So this I used in an earlier project. So you can use these on both sides with a nice big pocket where you can add your nice photos in. See, that's nice. So you can make nice photo mats in there so you don't have to glue all your photos in. You even can put a few in here so you have plenty of time, plenty of space <laughs> to add in here. Okay, so this one is a short pocket because we have this one, which we are going to make a pocket out of it too. So you can make a smaller one in it or it will leave a little out. Now the first thing, why do I made two of these? Because I don't know exactly which size do I want. So if I put this away for just a moment. So this is the full paper bag. And the full paper bag is, don't ask me where I get this from because I have it many, many years already in my stash. 
so I have no idea where it come from. But this is, oh my gosh, I even have hot glue on here. Ooh, I need to clean that up because I don't want to ruin my ruler. Yeah. All right, so <laughs> that's messy. All right, clean it up, clean it up, yes. All right, so it's nine inches or 23 centimeters. And this one is 12 centimeters or four, five of an eight inch. So that is the basic size of my um, paper bag, but I think it's too large if I want to use it. So I made one with cutting a half inch off and then it will leave me of course an eight and a half inch or 22 centimeters or a little less than a 22 okay but yeah i think this size is nice but if you want to make it even shorter than that then you can cut off one inch and that means that we have an eight inch large paper bag or a 20 centimeters but as the papers is also 20 i think that especially when you flip this around i think if we are going to do this size it will be perfect this i think it's too short to do and then you have to cut many many papers off and i think if it's going to be a 20 centimeters then you have almost the same size as this now you can make this the same size of course if you want if you're gonna do that and cut it a little shorter but i think this size is pretty this size is pretty so we have that eight and a half inch i think that size is nice so i'm gonna go with this one that means that i am gonna cut a half inch of each paper bag all right so let's start with the first one so i'm going to cut a half inch off this paper bag let's cut it off and you also can do right away if you like cut off a little piece of the bottom okay just a little piece so this is open, okay, so this is open. Here we're gonna attach our hinge later. Okay, so now you have this completely side. Now what I like to do is glue down the front piece. See, this is open now, I don't want that. So I'm gonna put some glue here and some glue here. Be aware not to put glue on here because this is gonna be open. This is open. Let's put something in here so you know that you don't want to glue down. See now? Only put some glue here and here and then at the end a little on these little flaps here. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do. So let's open up my bottle. It's been three weeks so I hope it's not. <laughs> Let me see if I need to open it. Oh, wow, well, it does, does it nice? Yep, it does nice. Okay, put some glue on. And let's close this little flap. You don't need, you don't need this. Let's close it up. Okay, now I'm going to do those flaps. go and on this side and here we go yep okay and that is all dry see yeah those flaps needs to needs to dry of course but when it does it's nice flat and you have a nice opening where we can attach later on the hinge so this is going to be attached in a hinge. I already have paint on it. I don't know where it's come from. I think cleaning up my desk a few minutes ago. But anyway, so this is the base. 
half inch off on this side and you open this back and you glue it down okay that's the base that's not difficult at all does it okay next step what I did was let me grab some wait just a okay what I like to do is grab some leftover chipboard you will have somewhere and then I like to make it two by two centimeters and two by two centimeters is three four inch by three four inch or two by two centimeters doesn't have to be exactly but this just the just a main a little piece that we need okay now making this size also two centimeters or three fourth of course yep I thought that I heard it snapped already okay two by two okay so just make it a nice square yes now you can cut this if you like but if you make now oh my gosh this ruler is pretty big to do this small thing but if you make a line from point to point or corner to corner see then you have this so I have just a little piece of chipboard it's too shiny you don't see where I draw a line do you well at least I see it now <laughs> okay so I made this two by two centimeters or three four by three four inch then I drew a line from corner to corner now I'm gonna cut one piece off okay now I can use this one but this for me is much easier so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this in one side here the wall line and then I'll flip this the other side and just make sure that this point and this point are on the side But of course, you also can use this little piece. Then just put it in the corner, just like this, and draw a line. For me, it's it's not that easy to hold it. I think this is much easier. But it's what you are happy with. Okay, so just cut off the corners. And now you have two nice cut off corners. Now fold this back you just see where this is going to be fold it back do the same way same thing on the back just be gentle with it just make a simple fold line that's it that's done all right next step this is so easy it's easy but Nice. I'm going to use first my brown. So first I'm going to cut my paper at 3 inches or 7.5 centimeters. Okay, and I need two right away. So I'm going to cut two. So 3 inches or 7.5 centimeters. Okay, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this same way as we normally do with our design paper I'm gonna do exactly the same thing just gonna leave a little black stripe left you also can measure if you like but I'm 
going to do the scrap queen way. So if I put it on here, see, I have just a little black on each side that I do see. Okay, so this should be fitting in here. And if it doesn't, then you just cut a little strip off. Oh, this just is, ooh, it's tight. It's really tight, so I'm just going to cut off a little piece and make sure that it is fitting in. Yep, now it does fit in. It's still tight, but I love it. Okay, what I'm going to do. I am, well, let me put this off. I am going to glue down. If she will let me, I think I need to clean it up after a few weeks. Let me, yep, here we go. Okay, so I'm just going to put some glue on this side right here and on this side. Only those little flaps. That's enough. So I'm going to put this in. And once I am going to be almost at the end, like this, I'm going to flip it on. And then I will see how my um, diamonds are. And if it's a nice shape, like this, or you can make it just a little out, see, halfway, that's also nice. But make it nice. All right. Now you just put the glue on. Well, we put the glue on, but <laughs> you know what I mean. All right, then I'm going to flip it over and I'm just going to cut off the rest. Here we go. Now, just grab the next one on this side, of course do exactly the same thing but now you can glue this piece too okay put some glue on all the way to the edges now just a little in you don't have to go all the way in put it on just see when you're almost there then I like to see where my diamonds are so this time I am going to do the halfway so that's nice so it fits nice there we go and then again turn it over and cut it off Okay, that was easy, wasn't it? Yep. Okay, now for the next one, we need again a new piece. And let's, I'm just going to, well, you don't have to go all the way, but perhaps it's nice to do this in half way. So I'm going to do, cut this right away the same. Size. and then I'm just gonna flip this in two then I know I'm for sure I have enough okay that's it maybe it was easier if I do one sheet right away in, in, in one piece that would have been I think easier Okay, so next we're going to put this the other way around because this is going to be this one, okay? So let's see. I'm just going to put this in here so I have a little left. Okay, that's about here. Okay, flip this back. Put some glue on this little flap all the way nicely to the edges you don't want to that this will not be glued down perfectly okay flip this back on here 
There we go. Yep. Now you can cut off again this piece. You even can turn it around if you like and use this guideline if you are not sure. That's also perfect. And you have all the same sizes. Okay. Now, this we are gonna turn it back. We already made, I got a, um, a fold line, but if you think it's not that wait anymore or you want to make it a little bit better so it folds a little bit easier because it, it's thick it's thick yes it's thick okay then so just make a little score line and then fold it nicely same way there we go that's it not glue this down yet because we're gonna use that we're gonna do that after we put some design paper on so I'm gonna leave this open for now okay same thing here isn't this easy it is it is so easy but fun I do love to do this I do keep it straight of course because this has a a design on it and you don't want to leave it not straight. If you use a paper that does not have any designs on it or a not that particularly matter design then you don't have to be that secure to make it straight. But if you have a design then make it straight. So I'm gonna use this guideline, it's easier. Here we go. Making a little fold line extra. Fold it. it and when you are done you can put some ink on I do like to use all the edges even this one so just smudge all the edges this side too Side. and this little flap okay that's done that was easy wasn't it okay now the final last decorative, decorative thing is I put a nice eyelet on it and I'm gonna do it this way, the, 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 the empty spot. This one I made it on the pocket side, but I think I am gonna do it on the clean side. Let me check. Yes, I think I am gonna do that, but that's totally up to you. I don't know exactly why or... Well, I do know why, because... I was searching for it when I put this in this is the small side okay so if I put one here it will get well it, I don't think it's that much of a matter because this pocket is larger I don't think it's any but here we're gonna do the decorative thing so I think it's nicer to put it on the clean side 
all right let's do that all right so i am gonna put my eyelid on the plain piece not on the pocket side on the plain side now i do have these eyelids bought from we are memory keepers and they have four different uh, colors they have a silver one a matte silver one a darker matte silver one and an even darker dark <laughs> gray um I, yeah color so silver matte darker gray more darker gray but um you can imagine that they have four different ones so it was for me not that yeah how do i say this so um which do we like i have no idea so i think i'm gonna use one of each i think that's also the best way to make it for a kid so i don't have to buy so many packages for just one color if that makes sense to you guys i think that makes sense a lot so i'm gonna use one of each and um so silver one a gray one darker gray one and a more darker gray one yep, yep that's what i'm gonna do so we're gonna start with the yeah i think the silver one that that really pops up a lot with the the brown so i'm gonna pick up the silver one the light yeah matte color a darker gray one and an even more darker one so yeah i think that's cool so that's what we're gonna do so for now i'm gonna use the silver one all right so what we're gonna do oh oh there's, there's just one thing um I know when I am making a kit, I don't know what kind of tools you have and um, I have no idea. Um, I do have my crocodile to use. You don't have to buy this. Um, perhaps you have another one. Perhaps you have none. I have no idea. But forgive me if you don't have anything like this. Um, please find a way to use these and if you don't then you, you can skip this it, it's just a decorative thing it's not particularly you have to need to you have to use these but i like to use these for those who have the materials to use them and i do so that's <laughs> yeah so but if you don't then forgive me but i'm gonna use it okay so i'm gonna put it in just like a normal eyelet and then I'm just gonna squeeze it with my crocodile. Here we go. It's just an eyelet, but then a nice big one. Love it! Yes! So cool. I love it. Okay, so these I'm gonna use for the other ones when I have my cardstock. <laughs> Oh, I do hope that they will arrive soon. But the brown one will match perfectly just what I had in mind. Alright, so that's the base of the... Um, yeah, that's the base of the... The paperback. Alright, so um, that's it for now. Um, let's go to the next part. Before I go to the next part... I promised you that I would tell you, if you don't want, you don't want to listen, just skip this part, but I, I need to find a time to um, tell you this without interfering my tutorial. So I want to tell you why it took me three weeks before I get upstairs again and craft. And that's because... Um, Yes, it was time to make that decision that I had to let go of my dad's dog, Toki. Um, so, um, yeah, I know right away, right now, at this point, um, my Christmas December daily is online. And I talked in that videos that I don't know when or when I had to make that decision. And short after that 
I made that decision that it needs to be done. And I, yeah, I had a talk with my vet. I had a talk with my, uh, how you call a hairdresser for your dog. And those two recommend me that it needed it, it needed to be. So uh, yeah, I had, um, I gave her a nice haircut and she was, she's always that vibrant when she is getting to, uh, when she is coming back from the haircutting ma'am. And, um, and then I really thought, well, she is that, that good looking and she is that happy and, and, and mobile. And I thought, well, I let it be. Um, I will see how it goes in, 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 in a matter of time. But yeah, after two weeks, mm, yeah, she, yeah, I, I just had to let her go because she does not see straight. Uh, she hears very, very badly. Um, she has cancer lumps under her stomach, very, very big ones. And um, they get even bigger each week. Um, she pees a lot inside the house. She poops a lot in the house. Not every day, but a lot in a week. And um, she can't eat that very well because the, the, the teeth are yeah, losing. And so um, she can't eat firmly her food. So I had to make every day uh, some, some uh, soft food. And that's no big deal of me at all because my other dog loved that food too. So she was happy. Um, and she ate very well still, but still I had to make a decision and it's the end of the year and um, so I called the vet to make an appointment and um, um, so the next day I went and Um, I must say that the vet uh, gave me um, a feeling that I made the right decision, but still, uh, sorry. Um, okay, sorry. <laughs> um, this is so hard for me. Um, but still, um, yeah, it's hard, of course, it's hard. Um, no one does this, does this um, with a happy heart. No one. I can't think of anyone who does this one. Yeah, I'm going to let my dog sleep in. So, yes. Um, so, I said goodbye to her and that was it. Gosh. So the last thing of my dad went away. <laughs> um, okay, it's been three weeks now, but still. <sighs> okay, Diane, gather yourself because you <laughs> all right, so um yeah, so that was three weeks ago and um um yeah, what else can I say about that? Um, yeah, I do have another dog, Chevy, and she's 11. So, yeah, she's, she's not that young either. But um, the minute when I came home, um, and I never thought that they those two were very close. Because, I, yeah, they never played together or anything. But the minute I came home, I got the feeling that she knows what's going on. And I, I put away um, Toki's basket to put it in the washing machine. And she right away looked at me from, hmm, what did you do? Where is Toki? And yeah, I know do dogs can't talk, but gosh, my dog really can talk to me <laughs> in the way she looks. 
But anyway, um, that's three weeks ago. I don't want to make this too long because I just want to tell you she is gone. I made that decision. I told her that she needs to go to my dad. And that he will take care of her. Sorry, guys. And now I don't want to talk about it anymore. It's good. We go continuing with this one. Okay. Um, I think I'm gonna use this one. Not sure when, but let me cut it out already. With a little round curves here and there. So that's what I'm gonna do. Make it a little more nice. That's nice. What else can I use? I don't think. No, the rest is too little, I think. Well, maybe this one right here, but... Mm. We're all mad here. Maybe, I don't know. Could be, but I'm just going to cut it out, perhaps. Alright, so that I'm going to leave there for right now. What can we do? What can we do? What can we do? We can, we can do plenty on this, of course. Um, shall we make first a photo mat that fits in here? Hmm. That is perhaps a good thing to do. Um, yeah, how to make photo mats. Well, that's of course simple. Oh, I can do that with my new tool. Oh my gosh, I do have a new tool. I do have a new tool. Um, if you don't have that tool, of course you still can make that happening okay so what if what if your photo uh, if you have a picture that is well, let me use a different color uh, okay let me use this red one i'm not going to use it anyway um let's say your picture is in centimeters 10 by 15 Oh, 15. I still can't do that on my cutting plate. Hold on a little. I need to. That's the only thing that I hate about my fist cars. The 15 centimeters or the 6 inches. You can't do that. Okay, so suppose. Suppose you have a 10 by 15 centimeter picture. And in inches, that is. 6 by 4. I know the inches people have a 6 by 4. That is not that much difference. See? That's almost the same thing. So that's that's millimeter job difference. Alright? So 6 by 4 inches or 10 by 15 centimeters. That's the same thing. Alright, so assume that you want to make a photo mat with a nice white edge. That means that you cut this a little larger. So you can make, you can cut this the scrap cream way, like this. Okay, and then C. 
see if you are nice with a nice white edge. Yes, and if you are satisfied with this, then you can measure that up. And uh, I'm going to do this, so this is 10.2 centimeters. And this one is 15.3. By 15.3 centimeters. You can measure that up on your own in your inches or in centimeters. That's totally up to you. Um, this I'm just going to measure for myself. Okay, so that is my white. And then I do like it on some black too. That's how I like to make my photo mat. So again, I'm going to do exactly the same thing making a nice black edge not too white not too small just a bit okay i'm gonna do exactly the same thing i'm gonna cut this out on the mark where i just put it here we go checking it out yep i like this and then my photograph on it so this is my happy space <laughs> as a photo map this is what i like to see see just layering it all up and since this is my base i'm just gonna measure this up so i'm gonna need ten and a half by 15 and a half centimeters you can measure that in your inches too whatever you like to please so my photo mat will look like this this is my picture which i don't have right now of course and then this would be my happy space for a photo mat and these i am gonna make a few so i have something to put in and then when i print it out my photo mats my photos i can glue it down right away on my photo mat that's the main thing that i like to do all right um now to come back to my new tool which you don't have to own it's 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 new because i waited one and a half months ago i ordered that one and it's finally here yeah i have waited a long time for it but it's finally here and what that is that is a tim holes decal do you call it decal well it's it's called tim holes tonic studios decal and that makes that makes um, the edges uh, different so what if so what if I am needing to make this size okay let's check it out so what if I am going to put this at 15.3 ooh um, wait just a sec what is 15.3 um, because which one that is 15 okay so that's cool so i definitely know that this large image is 15 one two three so that means that i have to go to one two three well till the end of that one okay fingers crossed for that so if i cut this ah! oh my gosh look at this wait i have to put a black c Oh wow, I love it. That's cool. Okay, and now I need um, the 10.2. And there are also some of the, oh that's cool because this one is this one. Oh, that's cool, but I think I now have, yep, that's the dirt that I had. I have to remind that 
that now you cut two ways so the first cut you need to make sure that okay so you have this is four and this is six all right let me check again wait just a minute i want to make a nice four by six so what i'm gonna do okay so the first one I want to make sure that I'm gonna do it right. So the first one I'm gonna cut this ten and a half. Ten and a half. And then this now I can make this at four. Wait just a minute. Yep, so now I have alright. It's new for me, so I'm gonna woohoo. <laughs> Alright, so the next one I need also wait just I'm just gonna make a first edge right here and then I'm gonna use that 15.3 I think now I got it. So does this fit oh yes does it yes it does <gasps> alright that looks pretty see that Oh, I love this. Look at that edge. So you don't have to tear it off any longer with a ruler. <gasps> wow. I love this one. I also have a Fiskars Deco scissor. But that is much, much difficult to use. To stay straight and it does it does a job it does but it's not that well it does it but see it does the job but gosh this one is so much easier it is yay and okay I'll, of course I am new to this but I'm definitely going to use these for the photo mat. Love it. But you don't have to do buy this. Nope. I just want to use this because I have it in my stash. You don't have to use it. You can just use the straight, the straight uh, lines to make your photo mat. But these I am definitely going to use for the photo mat. So I'm going to cut my black photo mat. And I'm going to cut my white photo mat with the decal. I'm just going to cut the deckel, the Tim Holtz deckel cutter. And to make those nice images. Because I'm, I had to make a decision. Sometimes I do have tools that I like to use. But I know not everybody has it. So many, many times in making a kit, um, I do not use those tools. But when, the, when then do I use those tools? I want to use my tools. Even if I make a kit, you don't have to do everything exactly the same. I do, the kits are supplies, not the tools. All right, so um, if that makes sense. But I do love this. It's just a recommendation. I bought this in Holland for 26 euros, I think. Yeah, for 25.99. And um, it was a pre-order, so I had to wait for a while because it was early November that it was available. Love it. I also have the, the normal cutter. I do have this a long time um, for the short pieces. Definitely going to use this uh, in a second for the photo mats to make. So I'm going to use those two to make the photo mats. And when I make um, a few, then I'll come back to you. Um, so as I say... It's a recommendation that, but you don't have to. Definitely not. It's it's an yeah. It's not that expensive, but I love it. I'm gonna use it, and then after that, I use it a few more times. Then now, then I'll come back to you and say if I give you a big thumbs up for it. All right. So I'm gonna make a few. Photo mats. Yes, I really can say that I love it, love it, love it. It was so easy to do. Um, I love it. And it's nice square, nice straight. 
So yeah, this is done. Um, I'm gonna use them when I needed them because I don't know exactly if I want to make a little pull out on these. I don't know, with the ribbon I can. I can put something, a little tab underneath. I don't know exactly if I want that. So I'm gonna leave these for when I need them. You even can make small ones, of course. Very easy to do. I smooch these away. Just make nice little labels. So you can use these. Very nice. Yeah, very easy to use. I am very, very happy. The only thing that I must say, don't go all the way at the end. Because I will show you, see, now it don't come back down. So if you make sure you are not going all the way up, it works fabulous. It does. It does each time it does the drill. But don't go all the way up because then there is a sign of sign of sort of a yeah, then this blade will go on this blade and then it does not go. So you just easily go back and then ta-da. It does it. Really each time. Love it. Cool. Cool, cool tool. Yes. Alright, so let's continue what we are going to do on here. Stop playing. <laughs> Stop playing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, guys. Pick up this needle. <laughs> Alright, so. Um, yeah. Uh, what can we do? What can we do? Okay, what size is this? Oh, that's a four, five of an eight. So what about making a nice flip out for making a three by four inches photo frames? That will be nice, I think. What do you say? Okay, so when I'm having that plan, then first I like to cut out a piece of paper that is a 3 by 4 So I know, so, three, what's this, 4, so I need to cut this in 3. So what if I have a photo that is a 3 by 4 Oh, my nose is itchy. See, that fits perfectly. Even two fits very, very nice on here. That is perfect. All right, let's see here. What can we do? What can we do? I do not want to make too many closures on on the, the paper bags. But let's see. But we do, we do have... I do have some closures to share. Three. So I definitely want to use them, of course. Oh, yeah. And I have some beads. So I can make... Oh, yeah. We have plenty to play with. Yes, we have. All right. So let's see. What's going on? First of all... Hmm. Um, what? Well, let's see. <laughs> 